In this video, I would like to explain how to place a logo on each slide in your presentation. The presentation you see on screen has two slides in it. It's the one we're going to be building if you're following along with me in this elementary PowerPoint 2013 workshop. It will eventually have uh, quite a few slides in it, but for our purposes, two is enough for now. I'm going to click on the Design tab so that you can see that I've already selected the theme we're going to be using. It's called ION, and I've in fact chosen the blue variant to ION. We'll be talking uh, more about themes later, and we have already looked at a few videos that have to do with themes. For now, though, we want to talk about placing a logo on every slide. To do that, we choose the View tab and choose Slide Master. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the top here. In the left-hand thumbnail pane, you'll see that there's one slide labeled number one that is bigger than the other thumbnails. This is the Slide Master, and you can see the ION theme is already applied to it. The little thumbnails underneath the Slide Master are called Layout Masters. And this one is the Title Slide Layout Master. I just want to take a tour here of the various layout masters. All of the slides that you use in your presentation, here's a side-by-side -side layout, uh, will be based on one of these layout masters. And the layout masters, in turn, uh, inherit their properties from the slide master. Okay, So I've selected the slide master here. Now I'm still in uh, slide master view. I'm going to click the Insert tab, choose Pictures, and find the logo I want to put on each slide and click insert. Okay, uh, this is the logo for our college. If you're using a different logo, your experience will be different at this point. I want to format this logo a little bit. As you can see, when it is selected, the picture tools tab will appear and the format tab is the one I'm interested in. I'm going to click the drop down under the format gallery for pictures and choose this beveled rectangle look for my graphic. Okay, that's a little bit of formatting. Now I want to size it too. I don't want my branding to be so uh, loud. So I'm going to choose three quarters of an inch uh, size here. And it's sized now and formatted the way I want it. Now to place it precisely on my slide, I'm going to use uh, the guides. I'm still in master view. I'm going to the view tab and I'm going to turn on my guides. The guides are these orange dashed lines you can see on the screen. They're centered on zero, uh, both horizontal, horizontally and vertically on the rulers. The rulers divide the slides so that the uh, inches are in each direction. You can change from inches to centimeters, but uh, we're, we'll work with inches here. And to move these guides precisely, you hover your mouse over them, hold down the mouse, and you can see a little um, tooltip show up that tells you where you are on the slide now. It's at zero inches, and I'm going to slide it over the, to the right and stop at 6.50 inches right there. That leaves a .17 margin on the right of my guide. Let's do the same thing with our other one. I'm going to drag it down here. If I went all the way down, it would be 3.75, so I want to come back 0.17, and that's 3.58. Now I have the exact margin on both uh, my vertical and horizontal orientation. Now I can simply grab my logo, drag it down, and place it right there next to those guides. Now if I didn't hit the guides exactly, if I was a little bit off, you can hold down, the, when, when the graphic is selected, hold down the control key and use your arrow keys to nudge it over a pixel at a time until it's precisely oriented where you want it. Okay, we place that exactly now on our slide master and now take a look at all of these layout masters underneath the slide master here. On every single one of them the logo appears. Okay, and that means back in normal view the logo is going to be on every slide in your presentation. Let's go back to normal view and there it is on two slides uh, that do exist in our presentation. Now, let's create a new slide. We'll click the drop down and choose Title and Content. And there's a new slide with our logo already on it. You'll notice that those guides also appear. And they will continue to appear unless I turn them off by going to the View tab and clicking the Guides 
checkbox. I can also turn off those rulers and give myself a little more screen real estate if I want. Okay, now the question might arise, what if you want a slide that does not have the logo on it? Let's go back to our Slide Master view. I'm going to View, Slide Master. Let's scroll all the way up. By virtue of the characteristics being inherited in all of our layouts from the Slide Master, all of the layouts on which your presentation slides are based have that logo on them. But what I can do is select one layout. Let's say I want the title and content layout. It's a pretty typical one that people often use in PowerPoint. I can hold down Control and press D to duplicate that layout. And with the duplicate selected, I can right click it and choose Format Background. You see what that logo really is, is a piece of artwork on the background of the slide, or the slide master to be more accurate. On this particular layout though, I can hide the background graphics and you can see the logo disappeared. Now also, I'm going to show the background graphics again, that little green tab up there, that rectangle in the top of the slide also disappeared because it is also a piece of background artwork. So what if I want to get rid of the logo but not the artwork? I can hide the background graphics, then go back to my slide master select that piece of artwork, hold down control and press C to copy it, go back to my new layout without that rectangle and press control V to paste it on and there I've got a layout that has the background artwork but not the logo. Okay, let's close master view, go back to normal view, here's our normal uh, title with content slide Let's, let's add another slide now. We'll click the drop down here and here's the slide with the logo. Here's the one without. Let's add that one. You see? It's just that simple. Thanks for listening.